Alright, that should be good. Hey! Hope you liked that John Cena. I sure fucking did. Rack Studios couldn't hear it though, but I'm sure you've heard it before, Rack. Welcome to the Ultimate Asian. I'm your host. Happy Our- Podcast Day, ladies. 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 <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Podcast Day. Uh, today, uh, we are. Uh, Mr. Hello. Hello. Uh, Mark and I were going to take you guys bowling today. <laughs> oh my god. Nice GTA reference. Dude, did you just get it? Did, I did. It, it's, uh, I'm Nick. I'm, uh, what's. I'm. I'm Roman. <laughs> hey, I was gonna let you figure that out because I didn't remember. I'm Roman. Roman Bellic. <laughs> hey! Uh, today we figured, hey, it's National Podcast Day, so we, we'd give you a little special podcast today. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid nerds. I know on the screen it does say that Savage here is here with us, but he's not. He had to go last second. He I, unfortunately died in a car crash. Yeah, I had no chance to change it, nor did I want to. I'm trying to sucker you all the viewers in who are Savage fans. <laughs> like, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's mean. So, uh, we got some topics we're going to be talking about today. I just came up with them out of the blue. Uh, some talk about the Godzilla collection with Max. This Studios. is a two-day-in-a-row podcast. Did we do it yesterday? No. We did it Monday. Never oh, mind. yeah. This is a two-time-in-a-week podcast. Yeah, we're doing a second one for the week. This is 24. We've been, we probably need to catch up a little bit because we've been slacking on podcasts this month uh, and during the summer. Definitely. Nope. We yep. slacked for an entire day. Yeah. Can you believe that? Uh, Pacific Rim 2 news. We got, oh, my uh, God. They updated their player. What did? Twitch. Um, Jesus. 31 Anyways. Days of Darkness, we got uh, some Marvel, big nar- Marvel news, uh, we were gonna talk about Mars, perhaps, if I, if we feel like it. Fuck uh, nice. Black Ops 3 Story Mode trailer came out. Yes. Some Rainbow Six Siege stuff, uh, some horror stuff, and maybe, yep. maybe yep. some Walking Dead stuff, too. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yep. I have nothing to drink. And I have heartburn. Yeah, I used to get heartburn quite a bit in 6th grade, because I would eat so much food. Yeah, I eat like shit right now, so. <laughs> I just eat shit. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it speeds up the process. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Shout out to uh, 100, 120 Days of Sodom, or Sodomy, or whatever. What the fuck is that? Let's see. It's a movie about... Seven men captured and are forced to do sexual things and eat their own poop. Huh. It's in World War Two. Sounds like a good movie. Check it out. They all die at the end. Damn you. Speaking it's like Deliverance, of... but not at all. Speaking of, um, so how far have you gotten into the Godzilla collection that you got? I've gotten one movie. <laughs> yeah, which I one is that? I touched it in a while. I watched it, it one night when my internet went out, and <laughs> that's why... <laughs> I haven't, I haven't, I haven't touched it. I haven't really thought about it right now. I watched Gojira, the 1954, 56 one. 54. 54 one, and I've watched. Have you uh, watched uh, the Americanized version, King of Monsters? Uh, yes. Yeah, what'd you think of that? I haven't seen it. It was, a, it was good actually. It wasn't that bad. It didn't was seem it? that cheesy or anything. But you know <laughs> that it featured those stupid female twins that I hate. You know those females I hate. Oh yeah, it, so uh, I was very the Mothra ladies or, what, yeah, or whatever they are. When they were singing, it was sort of annoying because how low pitch or high pitch they were. Well, did did you watch the English dub or the? I yeah, I just yeah. watched the English dub. Yeah, I I I when they had the Japanese Godzilla's on Netflix, they had it in English Japanese Godzilla. They had the Godzilla movies on Netflix, and they only only had them in the English dub. Uh, that's kind <clears> of so I turned down the volume all the way, so I didn't have to hear it. <laughs> Sometimes it's bad. Like, yeah. uh, you know that Final Wars trailer, or the movie I sent you on YouTube? It had no fucking subtitles, so I just muted it. I think it's a bad dub, too. Uh, the second Godzilla movie, the 50, I think, 6 one, that one is horrible. That is absolute trash. Raids again? Yeah, that is a terrible dub. I only got a couple minutes into it. Yes, yeah. it's, it's not I, good. I just got to where he like crashed the plane. It was no, it no. was very. It wasn't that. Che- it was very. It was kind of cheesy. It wasn't what? Uh, <laughs> Godzilla raids again. I got Godzilla to like. Isn't. He what? What? What Godzilla? 
Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla. Gojira. Godzilla movies. Shirley Gojira. Your microphone is cutting me off because it doesn't have any sound when you stop talking. So I think your microphone's cutting out. Oh. Sorry. It's okay. So it's really quiet then? No, it's fine though. Sounds good. Alright. So I saw Aquarius. What's that monster called? With the spikes on its back and the spike tail? Aquar Aquarius or something? What is it? Hang on. It should be on the back here. Fuck. Uh, it's, it's Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius? Love horoscope? Aquarius. Ingeris? 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 I saw him and Godzilla fighting and then like jumped off the cliff or whatever and they're like, ah, and then he's like, Pah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I got water here. Water's good. Uh, Team of Fight is sponsored by water. Drink it. Love it. Uh. Mars. Uh, join our group and donate a hundred dollars if you want to go to Mars because we're taking people to Mars tours. Soon. Featuring Elon Musk. Yes, he'll be joining us. We're good that friends. That is a musky man, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Musk could be on your Top butt goal. right now. You sure got him. Reminds us of Halloween, huh? <laughs> Speaking of Halloween, happy almost October. Yeah, it's October Eve right now. The month of murder. Yeah, I, I just, just kind of peaked up on me and was like, fuck, what am I gonna do for some October stuff? I kinda wanna Marty. do some scary, spooky October stuff. And get I don't ready. like October, actually. Hmm? but I don't like October, but it's feeling different this year. I think I'm gonna hang up some Halloween decorations in my room soon. Maybe tonight. I, might, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Spooky! Yeah. Mm, what was that? Hang on. Let me see that Pacific Rim 2 news I saw. <laughs> What'd you do today? Hmm? Homework and I slept. Yeah. I uh, worked on a brand new video. It's called, uh, it's like New Jack City Revenge of the Saints. And I used okay. some Saints Row 2 playthrough gameplay. Oh, is it the thing you were talking to me about a while ago? Kung Fu thing? Yeah. Ish thing? Grand House? Yeah, I think I finished that up. It looks alright. If I actually want to film something, like, I think it would look a lot better if I actually had, like, filming it, uh, like, my intentions. If mm -hmm. I knew my intentions while filming it, then I think it would have been a lot better. Instead of skipping cutscenes while through the playthrough. I tried doing a first impressions video for a game last night. I fucking couldn't. <laughs> well, that's like, Metal Gear. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I don't know. It's fine, I guess. It's good. I'm like, nah, whatever. <laughs> Uh, there have been some confusion as to the status of the Pacific Rim sequel over the past few weeks. It has now been officially removed from a scheduled release slot, but distri uh. distributors Universal have confirmed this is just a delay, not a cancellation. So that's good. Bitch. Released in 2017. Don't delay my shit more. That's two years. I don't want to make it four. Uh, I for slot occupy Pitch Perfect one. Wow, I don't give a fuck about Pitch Perfect three. There's a Pitch Perfect 3. I guess. Yay. Uh, earlier this month, there was some suggestion that Pacific Rim 2 might be cancelled entirely, despite the healthy worldwide box office of its predecessor. Oh, it's not cancelled now. It was refuted by director Guillermo del Toro, who stated, We are still turning in a screenplay and a budget in three weeks, as far as I'm concerned. It's is not that... gone. We're still on it. Is Does del Toro talk like a sixth grader trying to read a paragraph? I was a better reader than that in sixth grade. Kaiju Rainbow Six Beta. Say Kaiju Six. No. Sound like you spelled Rainbow wrong. Did I? You spelled it without a W. Oh yeah, I did. Rainbow <laughs> Six. Rambo. That's a, That's on purpose. I love Rainbow. Ra oh my god. <laughs> I love me so much. Oh, that's awesome. Let's look at the Montauk monster for now. <laughs> okay. Talking about. <laughs> I love that we have rain we have kaiju misspelled rainbow six mars marvel and fear the walking dead that's a great top list we don't have much okay we don't have much we're on bare bones here we have a we have a cast member that's not even here yeah <laughs> look at that look at that look at those gross monsters at least we have uh that's what at least we have... kids will look like yeah, yeah probably at least we have barbed wire <laughs> yeah that's all i imagine can you look at your barbed wire i'll just right zoom now. in on that 
Probably can't see w. it. Did you say I spelled Kaiju wrong? No, you spelled it right. That's why I spelled Rainbow wrong. I did spell Rainbow Rainbow wrong. No, it's I just don't know how to spell Rainbow. <laughs> Ready Rainbow. Rainbow. Me. Our YouTube channel picture with sausages. I did a good job. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, make it sausages. You're like, okay, <laughs> you made it sausages. You'd be the entire team of I cast here. Yeah. Oh wait, hang on. I can go. Should probably just get rid of Savage too. Every Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. It's. I'm still trying. You work. I shave my face every other day. <laughs> a little bit bullshit to that. Huh? A little bit bullshit to that. For what? For about every Sunday. Okay, no, still wrong. Fuck me and my ass. And it's bullshit that I keep up shaving my face like that. I don't shave for two weeks. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, do, 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 do podcast. Um, hey, are we rebooting How to Survive for Halloween? <laughs> no. Mike grabs his belly and laughs. Goofa. Ha 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 ha. Ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. So, go. is the third person one out? Is it what? The third person. How to yeah, Survive out? Yeah, it should be. Yeah, it should be good now. Uh, Rainbow is... Six. Spelled six, right? Mars Marvel, Fear of the Walking Dead, Kaiju. Yep, I think it's all good. I think we're good. All right, cool beans. Team of Cast is up uh, is back in business. Team of Fay. Team of Fay Cast is back in business. Team of Fay. Team of Fay. Welcome to the Team of Fay Cast, where we update everything what's going on with Tina Fay. Tina Fay, what is she doing? Is she making another movie with Amy Poehler soon? We don't know. We're gonna tell you here soon. Is Thirty Five Rock still in production? Thirty Five. Huh. 35 Rock? <laughs> so it's a spinoff. Oh, uh, with Tracy Morgan. He tries to scare Alec Baldwin. It's Tracy Morgan, as, but he's white now. Yeah. And has all the Baldwin brothers, like all four of them. Yep. And they, they all just walk sit there together. And just look at each other with their face. They snap face. their fingers when they walk. <laughs> <laughs> Hold pipes. Can't be wrong, neighborhood. Hey, Billy. Yeah. Alec, Billy. Uh, I think only two of them are actors, though. And uh, have you seen the one fucking vampire movie with James Woods? Mm-hmm. No? Okay. Yeah, I would like to do something Halloween, but I've already got a bunch of videos like ready, you know? Alright, we got Stephen Baldwin, Billy Baldwin, Daniel Baldwin, and Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> Great names. I think they're all actors. Yeah. That's too bad. You know that, like, pursed lip thing that they do? They're like, mmm. Yeah, they look like a fish. Like, they're about to kind of give you, like, a kiss on the cheek kind of thing. Yeah, and they kind of, like, um, make their eyes kind of, like... Squinty, Jane Smith, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, they kind of... After Earth mm. review coming at you. Horror movie. You can't see it right now, but I'm trying to make it a... Yeah, I'm though. doing it too right now. Just kind of do it the entire podcast so people know what... <laughs> We sound like doing it. It hurts so much. Hurts. <laughs> <laughs> um, yesterday, um, I'm still doing my hardcore TV thing, and uh, yesterday, episode 11 of NXT that came out, and uh, I put a lot of work in that episode. And towards the end, it has a cool little segment I was very proud of, and I uh, I like it very much. So if you're watching that, go check out that last segment of episode 11 of the NXT series. Okay. Yeah, it's over my channel. It's not you. You won't like it because you're fucking gay. Yeah, I hate wrestling. Wrestling is nothing but trash. Very cool. It's not wrestling, dude. It's a street fight. It's legit. It's legit fighting. It's fucking legit. <laughs> well, my dad today, he was he was complaining. We were talking. About, I said something about Super or Batman. He's like, "Fuck Batman, I'm tired of that shit." I'm like, "I'm burnt out on Superman." He's like, "Fuck that shit too." You know the next Batman's gonna be black. I'm like, "No, what I did that? not hear this news." He's like, "I bet the next one's gonna be fucking Chinese next." Wait, year. what? Huh? What'd you say? What are you talking about? My, I was talking to my dad today. As oh, okay. Driving around, and he's uh, we somehow we got into the discussion of of, I think no, I told him that uh, Hugh Jackman was gonna be done playing Wolverine. He's like, why? I'm like, 
I don't know, probably because of the 15-year contract is annoying, or he wants to try to do a different role. He's like, well, these actors are fucking pussies. I'm like, yeah. And somehow, we, yeah, I said, talking about Batman a little bit, then Superman, then he said he hated, he was tired of Batman movies. And, um, and it's, I said I was tired of Superman. He says, yeah, me too. The next Superman's going to be black, then the next... Superman's gonna be Chinese or something. <laughs> it just made me laugh. I'm like, no, Dad. Justice League is next. Then she was that squad. <laughs> and like, that's funny. I kept the rage in within me. What does he know? Chinese <laughs> Superman. He does a Hello! little bit. <laughs> Jackie Chan as Superman. Superman. <laughs> Jackie Chan is Superman. As the uh, Yin Yang sign. Okay. <laughs> Alright. It's really racist. Black Batman. Black man. <laughs> uh, Riley, totally Riley said perps. today during school she said hey to Kyler. She's like, Hey Grave Digger, what's up? And she and he's like, you know, digging graves. <laughs> That's bad shit fucking crazy. Typical Kyler. <laughs> digging graves. Digging graves. Classic Kyler. Dude, he's so fucking classic, bro. With that sweatsuit. Yeah. Ugh. Oh, God. My nose. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, oh! Uh, the producer of Avengers Age of Ultron, something Latchem, I can't remember, but uh, he's pretty much said that there's totally more room for more uh, another phase in the Marvel Universe after Infinity Wars. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, we can just make the new Avengers. Yeah, that, that doesn't make Mark very happy, but it's, it's kind of cool. Steve Rogers can keep him, keep himself employed. It's not a huge, you know, not a huge, um, whatever they call him. Superhero fan anymore. You are not? No. Strange. I know. Wonder why that is. You think I am? They make really great fucking movies, you know, like Ant Man, and then they came out with that Superior Fantastic Four movie. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Way better than the Chris Evans one. Actually, I think I like the Chris Evans one. Do you? Well, I saw it when I was a kid, so. Oh. I thought it was fine. Little Diva Play cast. Johnny, you're on fire. I know. Yeah, I'm hot. Johnny, you're really hot. Yeah, dude, I know. Let's go for drinks, bro. You only like that movie because his name is Johnny. No. I actually like the thing. There's that big bald guy from uh, S.H.I.E.L.D., that show where he's a dirty cop or whatever. That big bald guy from S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, motherfucker. Yeah, someone asked, like, hey, you guys are going to review Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I said, fuck no. We're not going to no. review Agents of fucking S.H.I.E.L.D. I remember when that uh, the first season came out. And I saw promos for it, and I just thought to myself, why would I want to watch that? Yeah, like, what? Why Why wouldn't I just watch fucking Captain America instead of this oh shit? Oh my god, they have that funny dude with the trading cards from the movie. I still don't want to watch it. Agent Coulson or whatever? Yeah. Like, supposedly died, but I yeah, guess... Yeah, who fucking died? The only... I'm, I'm slightly interested in a new season because they're supposed to have an inhuman in the group or whatever. And that yeah, slightly in interests me. It's not my cup of tea, I guess. I haven't watched it, so... I tried watching Arrow, and I really couldn't get into it. And yeah, the I Flash don't... looks so fucking bad. <laughs> the Flash what just if... looks like really bad television. What if it looks really great? What if it's really, really great? Huh? I think that's really fucking great is Daredevil. That's a, good movie. that's a good movie. It's a good show. Yeah, Nobody show. likes it. <laughs> I like it. At least people in the group. And you like it, Joe. Yeah, though, I like that devil. Dad said, nah. Kyler said, nah. They did? Yeah. Huh. I like Kyler it. Said, I think Chris Kyler said, said that. Nah yeah. about it. I think Chris, Chris, I think Dad's didn't like it. Yeah, I think Chris said that he watched a little bit of it and he liked it. I think Tony said he liked it, too. Yeah, I liked it. It was a good show. Yeah. He thought I was just dick riding. It's on my stuff. top dad! Top 10 list of 2015 is all. I'll dick right Charlie Cox. Yeah, yeah. 
What <laughs> other kind of ride are you gonna do? LOL. With that, with that chin. That blind, blind as a bat. That blind chin. You know what's that? With that jawline, you have to tell that that is fucking. I don't know. Yeah, where are you going with this, bud? I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Charlie Cox, you have a great jawline. Uh, HMU, rack up. Charlie Cox, in our Team of Fire Actors Guild. What up? Featuring me, we can get together, chill some who's avocados. In that, who's in the Team of Fire Actors Guild? Uh, probably Jared Leto and Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy's definitely in that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Hardy, I say Kane Hodder is too. Kane Hodder? He's more of a stuntman. Hmm. I think he's more of a, um, a loser. Oh. Yeah, probably. Fuck yeah, he's a loser. Uh... I'm gonna hire him just so he can stand in my bathroom and wash my fucking hands for me or like hand me towels and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, thanks, Kane. Master Richards. <laughs> he's just gonna wear the mask in a butler uniform and just fucking sit there in the bathroom for me for me to wash my hands. I'm just gonna put him in like the corner of the house, the bathroom I don't fucking use. You you what? You walk by him and he gets scared sometimes. Like, ah! Oh, why do you wear that mask? <laughs> oh god, that'd be fucking great. Kane Hodder. He would do it for money. He's like, yeah, you can live in my house. I'll show you get paid money. Let's write to him. Let's write to him. Dear Mr. Hodder, we know, your boy acting wants... <laughs> we know your acting career is down the shitter. <laughs> We've seen all your movies. They're Trust not me. Good. <laughs> Let's be real. So we're asking you. So, uh, we're we going to will... ask you to audition for our next short. We will pay you $2 a month I could do to a be day. our butler. I could probably do a day. Yeah. Would you? Yeah, fourteen dollars at each paycheck. That's pretty. That's all right. That's <laughs> pretty shitty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, never mind. Kane Hodder. I'm looking at his day. movies on Google, and it says Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> we, he can audition for a short, and he could be a uh, Bane. What the fuck is this? <laughs> okay, so I guess somebody made this up, but Sonic the Hedgehog producer Mel Gibson cast Miley Cyrus, Johnny Depp. Nat Wolf, Freddie Highmore, Ray Romano, <laughs> Ray Romano, Angus T. Jones, Kane Hodder, and Alex Wolf. It's good. It's great. It's, you got the Naked Brothers <laughs> band in it, and you got the fat kid from whatever the Charlie Sheen. What is it with fucking three and a half butlers? Three and a half men. Two and a half men. What the fuck. Three and a half men. <laughs> Who's the third? I don't know. Ashton Kutcher. Mm. Ashton Catcher. Whoa. That 70s show reference. I need to... Toe for Grace. Catch up on Fear the Walking Dead. So I get a, I get a double <laughs> Sunday. I have to watch episode 5 and 6 together. It's fucking two good... hours of that shit. Can you believe it? Somebody made a good point. Why do you keep watching it? Probably because of Chris. Chris makes me. That's why. It's fucking Chris. Shout out to Topher Grace and his fabulous beard. I'm sure it's not that great. <laughs> also, also, Topher Grace is in our Actors Guild. I could do that. I like Topher Grace. Have you seen him in Predators? No, I've not seen Predators. It's a pretty For good the, movie. I think the fifth time now. Have you seen Predator? <laughs> I You're must have described that from you, probably. Let's look at the stupid fucking link. If I can get the stupid fucking Spider-Man roll, that's a pretty good beard. I Ew, that's look at that mole. Look at his nose. Wow. <laughs> Take it back. I think that's a pretty good beard. It's a 4 out of 10 beard right there. That is a 4 out of 10 beard. <laughs> that's the highest score you can get in Team FIA. <laughs> uh, also, Black Ops 3 Story Mode trailer has been, uh, been released. Also, if you buy... Black, Black Ops, 3, Ops 3 story mode. I thought you were talking about Minecraft. No. Black Ops 3 on 360 or PS3, you do not get the campaign mode, FYI. So, yeah, you're missing out quite a bit. That is still super weird. I don't know why. Oh, uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate will have microtransactions. Uh, but Ubisoft stresses that they are entirely optional and content is, is not locked behind a paywall. 
I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm going to throw in Metal Gear again. <laughs> the newest one has transactions too, but you don't have to do it. That's good. What what game and transactions do you usually have to do? In Metal Gear? No, like I'm trying to think of an example like you say like you don't have to do it in the Assassin's Creed, it's like you don't have to do it either. Like what games do they make you do microtransactions? Warframe doesn't. Uh, I know a lot of app games do. Yeah. What maybe like console games? I can't think of a triple A game that makes you do microtransactions. Well, I can understand like Warframe or like uh Oh yeah. Because it's free. They gotta make like yeah. But like, what's the microtransactions for? I I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking care about guns. Assassin's Creed. Do you like um, Assassin's Creed? I liked four, and that's probably the only like newest one that I liked. I know Chris has been involved with the story highly for years upon years. Oh, um, when Unity came out, they had, I think Rogue on the previous gen. Mm -hmm. That was fun. I liked that one. Black Flag was free, wasn't it? On, yes. I think it was free on Xbox One. And 360. Awesome. It's pretty good. Yeah. Good shit, man. Do good shit. Freaking news. Black Ops 3 sucks. Eh, I don't know. I mean, I would like it to be good. Breaking news. You fight robots in the campaign. Fuck yeah, robots. And you have arms that are cybernetic, I guess. I think a campaign would be fun with... I don't even know who's getting the game. I just like... I don't fucking know. I know I'm not. I know, you're not. That's why I got it on the Xbox One. It's so hard to schedule shit to play with, like, play shit with people nowadays. It's fucking difficult. Yeah. It's fucking difficult with you. Well, uh, American Horror Story in one week, season uh, five, Hotel, is coming out. Um, uh, my, or what the fuck? Lady Gaga is going to be the main character in it. And I saw two trailers for it. Main character? She, yeah, she's going to be the main, uh, I don't, I'm assuming protagonist, but I'm The head honcho? Yeah, she's going to be the head honcho of the hotel, and she's going to own it. And, uh, Big cheese. But I think, it, like, the director, I think, like, or the, some creative sold out to her because she, it seems like she's taken it way, like, she's fucking taking her role and she's kind of promoting it quite a bit. And it seems like she's taking the lead with everything in it. I, I hope she's just not in it, just, like, Lady Gaga's weird. She wears meat dress, so this is going to be really weird, too, because Lady Gaga is weird. Haha, -ha, weird, right? And she wears the meat dress. It's weird. Uh. I hope they just don't have random fucking bullshit just for the sake of it being weird, you know? Yeah. Like, uh -huh. I hope there's an actual, like, fucking... Because I was watching a fucking trailer for it, and it's just a bunch of fucking weird shit. It looks like some stuff from Clockwork Orange, like, futuristic bullshit and then mm. i see like a girl like with a guy on, on a chain being pulled and i'm just like what the fuck is this <laughs> yeah it looks i don't know i haven't seen anything for it so i can't say anything it was just like a little mini trailer for it and it just looks fucking just i hope it just it's not fucking bad because i do i do enjoy some parts of american horror story because i like weird shit <laughs> Dude, you're weird. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking weird, bro. Dude, dude you're, you're like the fucking weird -ish. gay you're Nova weird Team of IA. You're like the what? Gay Nova Team of IA. Gay Nova. You've been called that, haven't you? No, but I've been called Maxine Cooper. Oh, you've been called a gay racist. Oh, you know who I've been called? Who? Should I say this? I'm. <laughs> I've been called the Z of Team of IA. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Because in the podcast, you guys said the camera on for. Like 14 minutes in or whatever. Yeah, I forgot. Mine's on that. Skype, so I guess I'm the Z of TMFA. <laughs> uh, yep, the Z TMFA here. What's Daz? Daz is a syndicate. Oh, I don't really know who that is. Huh? I don't know. Yep. Uh, I didn't talk about this on the last podcast because I skipped over it because I was trying to get to the trivia but i totally forgot but fear of the walking dead 
Um, I'm also looking at the chat now. Sorry, I had to go look at a web page. But um, for The Walking Dead, it's going to have its own spinoff show. It's going to be about uh, Flight 462, I believe it's called. And it's going to be, I don't know, it's going to be a 30-minute special, pretty much. And it's going to be just about on a fucking plane. And I think it's going to be a web series or something, like a little mini web series. Yeah, from what I heard, it's like a web series one minute each and has like 16 episodes. Wow, that's fucking stupid. That's what I heard. I don't know. I might have read it wrong. Wow. That'd be fucking terrible. One minute each? Yeah. Dude, ratings are good. You know, a while back, a couple of years ago, they had a web series, too. A mini one. For The Walking Dead. I forgot what happened to it. I used to I guess like it ended. Dead quite a bit. You know, season five ain't too bad. It's not. I'm, I'm only bored, say, two episodes. And, like, two episodes out of the 13 I've watched. Man, I, I, like go, I go one and a half episodes. I like it. See some. I haven't, uh... I haven't seen all of them, though, so I can't really... Yeah. Just the fucking much. Beth in the goddamn hospital. Like, it's, it yeah. just got stale. It just got boring. Like, it's nothing got was going stale, on. Man. Anyways, we're late to the Walking Dead game. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're talking about Season 5. Yeah, I do. It's so fucking good. I was kind of excited, but kind of sad. I was like, when Beth got fucking shot in the brains... Uh, spoiler alert, Beth is dead. Mm. And I was just kind of like, thank God. <laughs> because just the solo episodes with her, bad. The episodes were like decent actors like Norman Reedus kind of has to lower his standards and kind of do a, just a fucking <sighs> scene with alone with her. It's just He's got to lower his goddamn standards. It just feels campy. I don't fucking know what's wrong with it. It just feels wrong. <laughs> I don't know why. It just feels bad. It's like, this bitch is so fucking annoying, and she can't act that well. Oh my god, dude. Oh, she just, like, just kind of smiles, like, a little bit, like, and just fucking opens her eyes really wide. And it's like, perfect. That's good. I like it. 10 out no, of 10. No, we don't need another shot. We're fine. No, no. Let's we'll, we'll just... It's, shot's over. Let's go home. Move good on! Job, Bye. All right. Next season. Let's go. <laughs> next season. We're not getting paid by the hour, guys. Come on. AMC wants this quick done. AMC Let's cracking the going. whip. Cracking the whip. Cracking the whip. <laughs> Daryl, grow your hair more. <laughs> Look emo mm -hmm. as fuck. It's a weird looking hairstyle. I hate fucking his hair. You hate fucking his hair? I hate I fucking hate Daryl's hair. I don't like it. I wish he You know what? Him. Um thankfully that would have been his hair in Silent Hills. Oh yeah, I saw that. Uh, I wish he kinda he totally got away from the, like, the Daryl fucking character from, like, season one. It kind of mm -hmm. evolved from it. Like, it yeah. evolved, I guess, out of that character. Yeah, he did, didn't he? He was kind of trashier. And then they, uh, kind of put the spotlight on him. Like, see, he's the main character now because you guys like him, right? Yes, we're doing good. Yeah, all, the, uh, all the, uh, all the 13 year old girls like yeah. Daryl. It's like, sorry, yeah, Daryl, you gotta work more. Yeah, you're, I bet he's making the fucking most merch out of anybody. Oh, yeah. If they get, uh, sales out of that, I bet he's fucking rolling them dough because of all that merch. He probably will Let's, be for fucking come on. ever. Let's be real. Who says, yo, uh, Rick Grimes, he's fucking stunning, you know? Rick Grimes. Who says Glenn? He's a good Glenn's actor. A I have to, I liked all, like, majority of anything that he was in. He was a fucking good actor. You know what I saw Andrew Lincoln in? I saw him in a romantic film. How was that? It was very weird. <laughs> I was just... I, <laughs> I was watching it and... That also featured Liam Neeson. What? Yes. A million Ways to Die? <laughs> in the West, that shitty movie. Yeah. Put put the flower in Liam Neeson's butt. Let's, uh, let's review A Million Ways to Die in the West right now. Another horror movie. Uh, it was good. <laughs> it was great. Sarah Silverman made me want to fucking puke my guts out. Oh my god, Sarah Silverman, you're fucking hilarious because you do dirty humor. OMFG, you come on your lip, you're so funny. Lol. Fucking terrible movie. Anyways, uh, just they're driving, and I think he's like, we're out of gas. He's like, we'll walk then. And he's like, <laughs> fucking genius! Rick, Rick, you're the fucking leader, man. You know what's up, dude. Fuck yeah. <laughs> what do we do? Oh my god, what do we do? We'll walk then. 
<laughs> he kind of like tilts his head too, and he gets really close to your face. We'll walk. Every time he like walks up to you with like someone with a gun, he just kind of like tilts his head a little bit, and he points, and he's like, "Big, just mm, line." What is this? <clears throat> Big line. Oh, the stream go down. Oh, no. no, I think it's good. All right, never mind. Sorry. Welcome back to the team of I. Yeah, hey, welcome back, guys. What's going on here? Um, my name is. Uh... Is it on? Is it good? Yeah, we're good. Sorry. All right. Cool. Yeah, we're Thanks. good. Yeah, we're good. Uh, whoever unsubbed from Team of I, I'm very sad. I'm very sad. Anybody who unsubbed from me needs to sub back. I lost three subscribers. Yeah, be very appreciative if you just sub back. Just, just sub back, right? Just sub back. Just please, just please sub back. Please, please subscribe! <laughs> I work so hard for this! Walk then. Walk. I'll sub then. No. We'll walk we'll back. I'm Tyrese. Oh, yeah, Tyrese. Death pissed me off, and you, some kid, little kid just fucking bit him. I'm little kid. <laughs> I'm little kid. You're like, what the fuck is this shit? Yo, what the fuck? No! No! Uh, uh, hallucinations! And then Chris Rock, little ver versions like, yeah. ah, stupid stuff. <laughs> ah, everybody hates Chris. <laughs> Terry Crews pops out. Boy, how much that cost? My man works two jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Crews. That, yeah, when I saw that, I'm like, well, that's... A weird acting role. I know, right? It was like... <laughs> he did decent in it, though, actually. Yeah, he was good. Anyways, enough about a almost two-year-old season of a show. Uh, why? I like talking about it. It's kind of cool. Alright, let's fucking keep going. Uh, what do you I think of Merle's out? death in the show? <laughs> in the third season? Yeah, maybe four. A third, I think. What happened to him? I forgot. Uh... I remember he's in a car, and he's laughing, and he's like, uh... Yeah, he was, like, playing really loud rock music, attracting zombies everywhere, and he went to, like, a meet-up with the governor, and he got shot down by the governor. And Did Daryl he? had to go over there, and he was a zombie, and he had to take him down as a zombie. He's pushing him, he's like, no! No, Pa, no. And then, meanwhile, in season four, Carl eats pudding. I watched one. I think I watched this. Like they did the mid-season thing where they split it in two. I watched yeah. the mid-season premiere, or whatever, in like 2014. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't, I don't know which season it was. I think it was maybe four. Yeah, I think it was four. Mm -hmm. Uh, I watched it, and it was when they got separated from the prison or whatever, and like Rick's hurt, and he's like sleeping in the house, and Carl's all pissy because he has to go by himself and go do stuff, and he's like, "Fuck you, dad," and it's just kind of. It was like, you're you're not mad at your father. You're not mad. Like, you're fine. You're just throwing a little fucking tantrum. And then he just, like, walks off or something. I'm like, if you really wanted to, like, show that Carl was fucking angry and disappointed with his father, I'm like, take off the fucking hat. Take off the stupid fucking sheriff's hat and throw it on the ground. Throw it at Rick. And she's like, come on, that's fucking good writing. Just throw it down. And that shows you that, like, Carl is, like, fucking done. Like, he wants it to be cut off from his father and he was gonna go do shit like a man like it's simple fucking writing and it would mean a lot more than just i am very mad at you dad i am you sad. know what i would have kept the hat because you need as much skin protection in that environment as you can get oh yeah yeah okay so, uh, all your argument is invalid, and you smell like shit. It's all good, yeah. I like AMC, and then they spoon feed me emotions to feel and stuff. Like Spoon feed me emotions. Just like TV opens up with a spoon, it's like, emotion four, enter. <laughs> oh, ah! oh my god, Carl, he can stab. Oh, it's so convincing. No, it's not. <laughs> Welcome to the Breaking Bad cast. Breaking Bad, good show. Good bam, show. bam, 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 bam. Ba 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 bonfire. That was in the scene. <laughs> was it? Yep. Uh, is that good I, on the dead cast? I like to cook meth, cause it makes me money. Is that the motion five? From no, AMC. It's my rap. Spoon. What? It's my rap. Oh, that's a good rap, dude. I didn't it's, know you're a rapper. Check out my mixtape. You're not a rapper, are you? Mm. Not. 
Kevin Feige has spilled the beans on all things Spider-Man in recent Still interviews, the touching on bringing the character back to the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe, what they would have done if they you know, could have... When you were texting me about the MCU earlier today, do you remember that? Uh, yeah, I was like, I missed out or whatever. Yeah, I was sleeping. For, yeah, I, I could tell you were not in the conversation at all. You're like, yeah, cool. Not exactly those words, but I, I could... I got it. I woke up... I looked at the text, I'm like, okay. I don't even remember, it's like, just like, fuck off, like, why are you I was trying me? to figure out for three minutes, what the fuck is MCU? <laughs> <laughs> no one fucking knows, no one knows, like, what the fuck's MCU? And I'm like, oh, Marvel? Dude, it's Marvel Cinema And I just universe, said, like, dude. that sucks or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't got time for this shit. Yeah, this seems like Spider-Man's gonna be pretty fucking awkward and, like, underutilized, it seems like, because everyone already has their, like, skills, everything. Like, Thor can fucking fly and throw a fucking hammer across the area, and it just seems like Spider-Man's another body. It's like, we just have to add Spider-Man just because when I think they're fucking suffice on superheroes and stuff. I don't know. I don't agree with that. Fucking Spider-Man. What the fuck's Spider-Man gonna do? What is Spider-Man gonna do? Spider-Man played a big part in whatever the fuck they're basing that off of. What? Uh, whatever fucking the Civil War bullshit. I don't know what you're talking about, and I really don't care. Uh, about the role of him being in the Captain America Civil War movie. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I just don't. Anyways, I don't give two shits. <laughs> <laughs> really? Your argument can't get your I think Spider-Man should have been played by Chandler Riggs. John Murthal, Spider Man. Oh my god. see his nose popping out. <laughs> it's like breaking through the mask a little bit. <laughs> I can smell again. Does the scene with Mary Jane? She pulls the mask down, sees his nose, backs off. Mm. Oh my god. Chandler Riggs is 5'4. <laughs> How old is he? He's 16. Huh. Hmm. That's kind of poopy. Yeah. He's a uh, he's a little he's a late bloomer. That's all that matters, huh? I was uh. <laughs> oh my God! What I'm on his Instagram right now, creeping on him. <laughs> oh God, Jay Rake, you feel fucking hot. Look him up on fucking Tumblr and see what comes up. He's got a picture of him and his. Okay, I feel creepy. <laughs> Looking at celebrities. Shit. I can, my mom's fucking watching Lost. I can hear the fucking thing <laughs> beeping. And it needs to, the button needs to be pushed. Uh, I can Chandler fucking Riggs hear it. Like, Chandler God. Riggs did not get Spider-Man role. Oh, so that's like a thing. Huh. Oh, that was like a thing. Was it? Spider-Man role, yeah. No, I was fucking kidding. No, no, it's an article. Wow. Huh. What other upcoming teen star could have gotten it? Josh Peck. Donald, <laughs> Donald Glover. <laughs> Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Spider Back again. <laughs> Recasted again. <laughs> Tyrese is Luke Cage. That'd been weird. Chad O'Coleman. Chad O'Coleman. Chad O'Fuck Me. Chad O'Coleman. Rip. Rip Tyrese. Rip. Rip Tyrus. Rip Tyrus. Tyrus. Rip, rip Tyrus. Did you ever get the Tyrus helmet in RuneScape? I don't think so, you stupid. Oh, yo. Uh, shout out to Chandler Riggs meeting the guy who plays The Flash. They took a picture together. Dude, I fucking love the show. <laughs> That's like pretty much exactly what he said. He is amazing as The Flash. Oh, yeah? Is he now, if, Chandler Riggs? If you could take Chandler's word for it. Then I think you could believe anything. He is very good as the Flash. What season the Flash on Chandler? Chandler uh, Riggs. I pretend to be other people, like how you pretended to be the guy who liked the Flash. <laughs> okay, I don't think he's five foot four. I think he's taller than that. That'd be good. He's a little bit taller. I just this fear, like, if a TV show keeps up with like a child actor and as they grow, like, what if they're a fucking late bloomer and like they don't hit puberty? Well, then that'd be perfect for some role. Some, maybe, but not a lot. Like, 
he like gets his older role. and he fucking <laughs> looks the same, just like hair's grown more. He doesn't look 16. No, he doesn't. He looks, he looks like about 13. 13. <laughs> I'm glad we can talk about Chandler Riggs. <laughs> Chandler Riggs is so fucking ugly, dude. We lost like three people while talking to Chandler about Chandler Riggs. <laughs> uh, sh shout out if you want more Chandler Riggs. I, I kept my off off the chat, son of a bitch. Chandler Riggs, we're talking. My Tweet out, we're talking Chandler Riggs, you got Team <laughs> FI cast. Hashtag Team FI. That would get so many fucking favorites and shit, because fucking people love Chandler Riggs. Hold on, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking about Chandler Riggs. And the Riggs, uh, he's really cool. Uh, he is really cool as Carl Grimes. What else has Chandler Riggs been in? I hope people comment about this. Chandler Riggs, just fucking shut up, you fucking faggots. <laughs> Chandler Riggs, yeah. Mr. <laughs> we need to contact Chandler Riggs and ask him to do a machinima with us. Oh, yeah, put him in fucking Night of the Living Dead. He's like, this is fucking stupid, I've done this shit before. No, dude, it's more controversial. No, I want to put him in a Halo machine. <laughs> <laughs> Halo 3 machine. Dude, yeah. I don't have Xbox. What the fuck, Halo bro? Two. Yo, what's your Xbox Live account? <laughs> dude, do you have Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> yeah, dude, let's play. <laughs> Who's your favorite character? Start chatting him. Want to chat? Hold on. <laughs> Stalker409. Hold on. Hacking Chandler Riggs. Hacking 4%. There you go. Did you do it? I need to look yeah. at Twitter. <laughs> That's fucking great. Look at that fucking thing. Ew. <laughs> Why is there like a fucking like pixelated thing to the right? What the fuck is that? That's his um Seth impression. Oh, Seth. <laughs> Seth. Nerd scholar. Oh my fucking god, Chandler fucking Riggs. He'll never be added to the Team of I Actor Hall of Fame, will he? If he picks up his game. <laughs> <laughs> fucking look sixteen, pussy. <laughs> Gonna do it a Night of the Living Dead film. He's in. <laughs> you're only in the guild if you're either a superhero, Jason, X or Voorhees, or Tom Hardy. Yeah, Tom Hardy. He can be anything. Tom Hardy is the next uh, group. I don't give two shits. I like Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy is amazing. What's your Gay favorite Tom Hardy role? Um. Uh, I don't know. Bronson. Uh, Black Hawk Down guy. <laughs> Rob's machine gun bullets. <laughs> I made a man blind. Blind, deaf. <laughs> I can't see! I can't see out of my ears. <laughs> I thought he's not the star actor, but it's... I can't hear! Uh, my what? name is Max. My name is Charles Bronson. My name is Leonardo DiCaprio, supporting actor friend. Uh, my name is Guy. He's been in another movie with Leo. It's called or, like Revent. It was about like frontiersmen. Oh yeah, he's in the uh, fucking the uh, whatever movie Inception. that was Lawless. Oh, and the Lawless. And Inception. Yeah, he's been in quite a bit of stuff. And Star and the Trek. Dark. <laughs> um. Yeah, he's the worst Bane. Was well, yeah, he was in Star Trek, huh? Because he didn't look like the Bib Doo Doo. You know, they look like the Puerto Rican guy. <laughs> what else was he in? Um, Tom Hardy cast. Bring you Tom on. Hardy cast. Mad Max The Wasteland. Wasn't he in, uh... Was he in fucking... That's the fifth movie. Wasteland. We're getting a new Mad Max movie. Yeah, they have a new to trilogy. Be honest, to be honest, I'm not excited for that. I like the first one. The Fury Road one, not the first one. But I like... The, okay. I don't know. If they bring back the Feral Child, I'll be fine. I feel like they got really lucky with the first one. Probably. I think it was just really, like, highly under the radar, and people didn't have any expectations of it. Yeah, I, um, 
I don't think this one will be good. I don't be... think I w I didn't even really think about seeing it. I saw the trailer. I'm like, dogs, all right. Actually, yeah, me too. Actually, George Miller has a pretty good track record with the movies. I'd say all of them are pretty much decent in a straight line. Yeah. Of good. So maybe he won't mess it up. Thunderdome was a little, eh. Well, it's still good, but I've told you that excuse many times. Why it was bland. Because the uh, co-director, his best friend, died, and he got depressed while making it or whatever. Did he? Yeah. You actually, I don't think you ever told me that. No, I thought I, I didn't know that. told you that shit a billion fucking times. Or I know you spewed it many times before. I can't believe I just forgot. Oh, yeah, Predators. <laughs> Have you seen Predators? Yeah, it's great. I like the Yakuza guy. I like uh, the I UFC Russian fighter. He plays the Spence Niles guy. And then you got the... Fucking guy from King King Kong. And you know what we need to review? We need to review that Far Cry movie. Is it the that mini web series thing? No, it's the full movie that came out in the early two thousands. Oh yeah, I think I've heard in like two thousand seven. <laughs> Dude, when I saw that fucking trailer for Far Cry one about some guy that like seemed like he was turning into a fucking monster or whatever, what the mm. fuck was that? What was it for? I think the it was movie? like Far Cry. Yeah, like I saw the trailer for the game and it looked like he was like fucking turning into a, like, not a zombie, but he was turning into something. Like he was starting to become like really sick. I... Deranged. Contracted 3? No, fuck off. Alright, horror <laughs> news, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you got some new horror movies coming out in October. The Curse of Chucky. Dark Was the Night. The Nightmare. Mm -hmm. Vampire Diaries. Season 6. Wait, hold six. on. Wasn't the Curse of Chucky already a name for one of those movies? I don't know. It's not a new one. It's just coming out on Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah, American Horror Story, Freak Show, I Zombie Season 1, Tremors 5. I'll be watching that. <laughs> Supernatural Season 10, Strangerland, The Lazarus Effect, and Return to Cinder. And I was also on the iHorror website, and I saw uh, eight good horror remakes. And I thought this was a fucking terrible list as I got down to, like, number three. Mm. Number one, Friday the 13th, 2009. I think the Rob Zombie did that one. I'm not sure. Maybe that was Friday the 13th, 2009? No, that, never mind. I'm thinking of Rob Zombie did Halloween. Yeah. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 2003, which I have two DVDs of. That one was Actually, good. that's not a terrible movie. Yeah. Halloween 2007. I think that was Rob Zombie. I think that was okay. I didn't see it, but I heard it was okay. I heard the second one wasn't good. Uh, the Hills of Eyes, uh, 2006. That was good. Never saw it. Uh, Nosfero, The Vampire, 1979. I didn't see it. And here's where the list just went all downhill. Uh, Evil Dead, 2013. Uh. Uh, The Thing, 1982. Eh. It's I haven't seen the original, so I can't really compare. And I thought you, uh, I thought you liked that one. The thing, yeah, I, I do like. I, the I love thing. that movie, but compare like comparing it to the original, I don't know if it's better. No, than the fifties one was way different. Nineteen fifty-eight. Yeah, I think it was yeah. way different. It didn't. The monster didn't even look like. It was like a person with makeup on. Right. But like, just kind of like a Frankenstein kind of thing, if I remember correctly. Did they do a lot of stop motion stuff for the thing? Nineteen nineteen eighty two one. Yes. See, I know a lot of people had a lot of like. They thought the 2011 one really It was like an animatronic up. thing. Yeah, I thought they, they, they really fucking didn't like the 2011 the thing because there was so much wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Like, there was inconsistencies with the monster, how it could, like, morph into different things to get to people, and then when it was convenient for the protagonist to get away from it, it couldn't, like, morph into a different figure to fit into a space or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I, I figured a lot of people had a lot of problems with it, which I did not know until... Uh, about this year. All right, so the first one is called The Thing from Another World. Yeah. Um. Trying to look at Google Images for the. Yeah, yeah, it looks totally like Frankenstein. It looks like an alien. Here, I'll send you a picture if you want. Yeah, I'm going to Google Images now. Here, I'll just send you a picture. Do it. So this fucking picture. I'll create a link. I have to click on. Fucking excellent. Can't just copy the image to me? What the fuck, dude? Yeah, I thought about that. Hey, you douchebag. Have you seen uh, My Bloody Valentine 3D? No, but I remember my parents said they went to see it in the I theaters. I saw it. And they said it was horrible. I didn't think it was that fucking good. 
Yeah, they said it was not good. Yeah, I didn't think it was not fucking good at all. So, hey. Yeah, this list was very false once I saw it. I thought, I was like, eh, 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 eh. <sighs> and then, <clears throat> yeah. And then, um, I know I reported last week or last podcast something about The Exorcist. Yeah, that's a negative. No Exorcist remake happening anytime soon. Sorry about that. It's false news. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> the Exorcist is a new now. Well, Damn. There's like two things I would thing. love to work on is like another The Thing movie if they used uh, live action stuff, which I doubt they would, but like The Thing and The Mist. Yeah. The Mist, huh? Mm -hmm. They fucking missed. Yeah. That's the is... Thing movie? Uh, yeah, I saw the original one. I didn't see the remake. Excuse me, by the way. Which one? The, the first Mist movie. When was that released? I don't the seventies. Really? I guess. Not the fog. Okay. You thinking about the fog? I guess so. Hmm. Well, that's like two. That sounds pretty much the same. Yeah, it's, it's so. practically the same fucking thing. The fog is John Carpenter, I think. Yeah. The Mr. Stephen King. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah no, I've never had seen a that. really fucked up ending to the movie, and but it was very good. What was so fucked up about it? Um, pretty much they were held out in these grocery store for like weeks upon weeks, and then this like religious zealot is like, "You're gonna get kicked the fuck out if you don't like adopt our religion of bullshit." And they're like, "Fuck you, we're leaving." And they leave, and they run out, and like anyone who ran out there just got fucking murdered by something. Mm. And it was it was very good. Like creatures, like there were multiple different creatures. If you look it up, the mist on Google Images, you can just see like some yeah, of the examples. And um, there's a bunch of bullshit. And they just finally like get into a car, and they're like all sitting in the car, and they keep driving, and they're like no fuel left. And there's like only how many people are in the car? There's like six people, uh, five people in the car, and there's like only four bullets left. So he <laughs> shoots like these two old people. Shoots his uh, lady friend and shoots his son, and there's no bullets to kill himself. So he just mm -hmm. like just sits in the car and just like minutes later the military arrives. Oh. Right after he like he kills his family, and it was, it was actually a really fucking good movie. I love that movie. So uh, everybody, uh, so he lived, I guess. Yeah, For, he lived, he... but it just like shows him breaking the fuck down afterwards, and it was very good. Yeah, wow, well, that's poopy. Mm -hmm. Very good movie. Good watch. Shitty CGI. I hate it. Four out of ten. Yeah, the CGI. It's Frank Darabont directed it. It's pretty uh, sci-fi, CGI-ish. <laughs> yeah, the CG. I watched uh, behind the scenes on it, and they're like, "We should do practicals for some of this shit." And they're like, "No, we gotta do CGI." CGI. Yeah. Which ain't too bad, but you gotta have a good program. <laughs> mm-hmm. And a budget to do CGI. Oh my god, this fucking cabin in the woods bullshit. This fucking image. Jesus fucking Christ. The cabin in the woods. Have you seen that movie? Uh, I watched it on like Netflix for five minutes. Really? And you I'm... didn't get to the part where it was like underground full of monsters and they had like the Left 4 Dead boomer and like... No, I stopped, when that, creatures and I stopped when that girl licked the wolf head. It got... I went to, to Tony's like messaging one night when I was in the theater. He's like, hey, let's go see your cabin in the fucking woods. I'm like, it's gonna fucking suck, dude. Just be some shitty fucking movie about these peens go out the fucking woods and get murdered and shit. Watching it, and then they're like, alright. And they go in the basement, and there's a bunch of items, and which item they fuck with will activate a certain monster or creature or something. Force entity will uh, come up from this elevator underground and will be released. And it depends on if they survive or not, and if they die, um, they get sacrificed to the gods of this of titans of the world and like every country does it like showed japan doing it it's like a huge giant computer thing underground the entire nation and it shows like all the fucking creatures they have and they just mm -hmm. totally they all get out and like raise hell and fucking kill everyone oh yeah it's fucking very crazy okay 
Yeah, and there's like a cameo of like the Left 4 Dead boomer in it. I'd only watch it if uh, it showed the Japanese side only. I think it was like some fucking... It was... Yeah, it was crazy. What the fuck? You got a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes? It did? And a 7 out of 10 on IMDb. Rotten Tomatoes is usually a lot higher. And Metacritic gave it a 72. Okay. It must have not been that shitty. Mm-hmm. The beginning was kind of cheesy. You're cheesy. Fucking Chris Hemsworth. His death was so satisfying and great. Was it? Mm-hmm. Your butt uh, is see, Chris there was like a giant fucking Hydra. There were like zombies. There were vampires. There was this like Saw dude from Hellraiser, it looks like. Yo, what's up? My name is Saw, dude. There's like a fucking ballerina with no face besides teeth on it. There's like a, the mermaid monster. There's the mummy. Wow, this guy with like saws in his head looks pretty nonchalant. What up? He's like, yo, what up? I got here, this ball in my there's hand. There's a list right here. Uh, listen, the scare, uh, the scarecrow folk, snowman, dragon bait, dragon bat, vampires, dismemberment, goblins, sugar plum fairy, merman. Something reanimated. Unicorn, Huron, uh, Wendigo, Dolls, Something Doctor, uh, Redneck Torture Family. Redneck Torture Family. Jack Lantern, The Bride, Mummy, Kevin, Deadites, Giant Snake, Angry Something Tree. Angry uh, Molesting Tree. Uh, <laughs> werewolf, Alien Beast, Mutants, Wraiths, uh, Zombies, Reptilious, Clowns, Witches, Sexy Witches, Demons, Hell, Lord. Lord. Yeah. It was fucking crazy. Hmm. Shout out to Kurt Russell. Why is that? I don't Should've know. It. Shout out to Kurt Russell, the thing. When uh, when watching it, like at the end of the movie, like there's a werewolf you can see, and Sigourney Weaver did a cameo at the end, and it's in like pitch black, and behind Sigourney Weaver you can see these teeth. I'm like, no fucking way, is that an alien? Is that a fucking xenomorph? And it just comes in a light, it's just a fucking werewolf. I was so, I was like, <gasps> I just saw, like, the teeth and kind of saliva dripping down. I was like, shit. Alien. Ah! Max just got killed. Unfriended. Right. Who's there? Alright, turn on cameras. Hold your hands up. <laughs> Alright, who's doing this? <laughs> I really think we should have done a uh, fucking Man. unfriended thing. That yeah, that is a boomer. That is full on a boomer. Yeah. <laughs> Would you look at that? Cabin in the woods. Your cabin in the woods, ho! Oh. Okay. Angry molesting tree. Well, that's apparently a Google. Thank you, Google, for just suggesting that to me. Yeah, that's why I said that. I'm like. Nice. Speaking of angry molesting trees, um... Mars? Has water. Woo! We've been following this since day one, ladies and gentlemen, since Team Podcast was one. We've been following NASA news and space travel and... To be honest, I don't care. I don't care about Mars. They still be... Alright, we already went over that beast of the horror shit. Beast of the horror. The horror. Oh, the horror! Ew. Team FIA reviews the Attack on Titan live action movie. Which actually looks very good. Heard it was shit. Awesome. Did you see that prosthetic makeup I. Yeah, I, didn't I send you that? Yeah. I sent you that? Okay. That looked pretty cool. Uh, what, is, what do I call this Japanese Godzilla movie that's supposed to come out next year? Shin Gojira. Oh, okay. It's like either translates into the new Godzilla or 2016 Godzilla. or 2017. 16. Okay. Oh, let's say don't delay it. I'm talking to you, uh, Pacific Rim. Yeah, Gomero del Toro, you son of a bitch. New Godzilla. Here we go. Let's look at this wiki. Wiki. Bring it, Kaiju News, right now. Wikizilla. Fuck that. God, let's add this to my favorites. I need this. All these fucking great uh, uh, Apparently the cast from the live-action Attack on Titan movie, some of them are going to be in this. That's good. And the guy who did the prosthetics for 
the thing, like I said, will do the Godzilla. Um, I think you did a Gamera movie too. Is uh, this movie going to be live action Godzilla or CGI? The Shin Gojira? The new Godzilla. Yeah. Yeah, what? It is going to be Three. live action. Okay. I, was, and it, I mean, like, is the Godzilla going to be. Uh... Oh, we have a caller. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. Caller. I on. think you might. A sa savage. I don't know. I don't think we know that yet. Oh, your face will fucking move. I'm trying to move this Skype picture of yours. Fuck, finally. Steve Austin, get the fuck out of the way. Am I Steve Austin still? Yeah, you are. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, shit, we were sending the links out and shit like that. And fucking Principal, Principal Photography was announced to start in September. I don't know what that means. Hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome our new, our caller. Uh, caller, how you doing? Welcome to the team of Highcast. Yo, what is up, Sunkiss Cherry? Uh, what's your name and where are you from? Um, my name is Chris Benoit, and, um... Okay. I am from Kansas. Kansas City, Krypton. And I have a question for Merrick. Okay, Merrick? There's no Merrick here. Merrick. 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 Yeah. Merrick, or Merrick, or Merrick. Merrick. Let's go with Mr. ACC, or Shoji Works. Fuck, just call me Shoji. Mr. Ass. Billy Gunn. <laughs> Shows you works. Don't call. Or him you can Mr. call me Mister Ass. Ass. Don't call Mister Ass. <laughs> what the fuck's your question? Question. I have no question. Fuck. <laughs> I am a question. Okay. I'm Thank the reader. Uh, do you want me to read this? I don't. Perhaps bullshit on Wikipedia for the new Godzilla. <laughs> Uh, yeah, go for it for some extreme okay. new Godzilla speculation coming at you. This is coming from Wikipedia, our favorite news source. Um, production. In December 2014, Toho announced plans for a new Godzilla film targeted for a 2016 release, stating this is a very good timing after the success of the American version this year. If not. If not now, then when? The lasting contract we have with Legendary places no restriction on us making domestic versions. The new film will have no ties to the Legendary trilogy and will instead serve as a reboot to the Toho series. Uh, Minami Ichikawa will serve as the film's production manager and Taiji uh, blah 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 serves as a film leader. So blah 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 blah. Okay. Why not 2020? I don't know. Savage. Right to them. Godzilla will be running for president. Uh, I mean, they're rebooting Green Lantern in 2020. Who the fuck cares about that? Well, people so announced that the film will be written by Ryan Alright, uh, some. The film will be written by two dudes who wrote for an anime. <sighs> Yvonne Gellion. Oh, okay. I heard of that one before, I think. Uh. The guy who did the. Guy Sensei. Wow, they have a picture here of Godzilla's footprint. You think this is legit? Director no, uh, see Higuchi okay. stated that he intends to provide the most terrifying Godzilla that Japan cutting e Japan's cutting edge special effects movie making can muster. Nice. The special effects technology will be a hybrid of uh, computer graphics and practical special effects, oh, similar to yeah. the work Higuchi did on the live action Attack on Titan film. Uh, you just stressed that he wanted to create the most terrifying description of Godzilla possible the resources available to modern Japanese cinema to reflect the world's tent loss of innocence from modern life tragedies like 9-11 terrorist attacks and the tsunami the nuclear disaster in northeastern Japan which happened in Godzilla 2014 which you usually call the real life the real monsters of the world ooh that's deep Wait, is Attack on Titan coming up for America too or is that just Japan it uh, came out tonight Really? Yeah, come oh. Attack on Titan live film. Ooh, let's look up uh, uh, Attack on Titan. Uh, did any of you guys watch the um, actual show? I've seen bits and pieces of it. Yeah, I watched it last year. Did, on, uh, when did season two come out? Was that last year? No, it's coming out next year. Jesus fucking Christ, it's taking forever for it. It takes a long time to um, animate this stuff. A long time. They, uh, they delayed it because... Apparently they got pretty far with the volumes or whatever, and they wanted shit to 
like Ooh. substance for the anime. Uh, it's actually not that bad. I don't watch anime, but I liked it. Well, it's got a five uh, five point two out of ten on IMDb right now. Which one? Attack on Titan. The movie? Yeah. Yeah, that's just. It's sure. the best. One of the best animes in the two thousands, hands down. How do you, how do you pronounce the director's last name? No, uh, who? Uh, for Attack on Titans and the Godzilla, it's the same guy. Uh, Higuchi. Higuchi. Okay, yeah, it's the same guy. Uh, uh, Higuchi. Higuchi. Oh damn it! Higuchi. You fucking gripes. <laughs> Ooh. Do you have any like pictures of the actual like titans? Like, yeah. Hang on, I need to find Search on Attack on Titans. Look titans. legit. Yeah, I need look to legit. Go back to Google Images. Yeah, they look pretty cool. 100 years ago, the titans suddenly appeared and decimated almost humanity. To stop their advance, humanity built the walls, which the fucking titans just walk through in the goddamn shows. Well, just because it's giant, you know, million foot tall, and just kicked a hole in it. Savage, tell us the plot of Attack on Titan. Well, basically, giant walking dead zombies that smile, come and eat everybody. No skin. No skin. Well, fucking there's one with no so skin. so fucking sexy. There's, there's only, only one with no right skin. Oh, sorry. There's only one with no skin. Sorry. And that's the one that kicked the wall in. The really big one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. The Colossal Titan, they, not the really they, big one. In the promotional image, even though he's only viewed like once or twice in the entire Jesus series. fuck. He looks, he looks pretty fucking terrifying on the movie poster. Hell yeah, he's a skinless human that eats humans. Ew, look at that fucking girl. I'm like, Jesus fucking. Have you seen the show? Yeah, but not. I'm looking at the live action pictures here. You can only imagine it look horrifying in real life. Savage has to turn on his TV so he can finish Friday. <laughs> I'm refinishing. I, I paused it. I told him. I told USA Network to pause it for me. Yo, yeah, USA, pause it for me. Hey, please. USA Network? Yeah. Yeah, I need this paused. You can oh, do that. Rod and Terry! Rod and Mr. Bat, sir, yes, man. Yes, man. Sorry. Yes, sir, Master, sir, sir. I have Attack on Titan, uh, fucking yes. mask. I forgot about that. What a fan I am, right? <laughs> yes, you are. You're definitely a fan. Big fan, big fan. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, New Godzilla has a website. Uh, I'm on the wiki Zilla right now. Send me a link to the actual Godzilla website. I wonder who went King Kong or one of the Attack on Titan Titans. Ooh, I feel I think like maybe King Kong may win because he's a bit more agile. I think it might be Godzilla.jp. Because Aaron, the main protagonist, he can turn into a Titan too. So oh I yeah, I forgot about that. Didn't he get eaten by a Titan and then... Yeah, yeah that's just, what gave him his Tate Tate. Dude, his I'm just fucking power. double checking. It's been like since 2014 since I saw it. Bro, right, fucking chill. Chill, it's you big Japanese. fat idiot. What? Sorry. It's on Japanese. Damn. Oh, fucking great. This link will do me wonders, and thank you, sir. Uh, the first link is says news, if that helps. Yeah, he's so hot. Look at him. Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, God. Awesome paragraphs. There you go. She's hot skinned a wee wee. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> It's hot skin double wee wee. That's gonna wee wee. It's on Titan. Uh, the film released in Japan August 1st. It was released a lot, two months ago. In Japan. August 1st, August 1st. It's a warning, it's a warning. August 1st! August 1st. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Austin, this Sunday, no mercy. Wait, what the fuck? Uh, the second part, titled Attack on Titan, End of the World, is scheduled to be released on September 19th, 2015. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. I don't know why they did two parts. This move, The movie has received intense criticism from the fans of the Attack on Titan manga and the anime series for taking creative liberties from the source material, Kodoku said. The first Attack on Titan movie stinks. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I think it, <laughs> it stinks. You hear that? It These fans it stinks. Get real. Wow, that's fucking brutal. What a savage. Are they aware of how many Americans have their hopes and dreams dashed by the adaptation of their favorite comics? You know what? I think all it was raw inspiration it. from the comic you know, book. If I talk about G.I. Joe in the same sense, people just call me a gay wad. <laughs> people just um, say, get used to it. I think. I think if you haven't seen the anime or the manga or whatever, then it wouldn't be that bad. Or if I you guarantee don't care that much at all. I guarantee a lot of the criticism came from 
Die the fans. Well, here, listen to this. Uh, however, some reviews have been positive, praising the movie for being a unique standalone horror fantasy movie. Attack on Titan? Yeah. Uh, South China Morning Post claimed the movie is one of the most uh, perversely original fantasy films in recent memory. The adaptation of the Japanese manga series is... That's a big word. S C H I Z O P makes their genres. Okay. Us Missouri folk don't know big words like that. <laughs> yeah, so myself. You have to compensate for your shitty home of Exactly. Your so I just wear I just wear fancy clothes like those rich people would have wore before. Oh yeah. On our big farm, our big four acre farm where we grow corn and And yeah. Cut snakes' heads off on accident. Oh yeah, I've done that many times. They fucking deserve it too. Don't get, don't get me wrong. <laughs> uh, good shit. We Yo, your house. follow me on my Japanese Twitter at Sushi Jesus. <laughs> Plugging that right now. Uh, Savage, do you have some rack added on Skype? Yes, I do. Good. Do you? I don't have you. Oh, this is Maybe awkward. you deleted me. Maybe, Maybe I did, because I remember John said that your thing didn't work. It didn't for the longest time, then I fixed it about a week ago. Alright, well, I'm going to have to add you again, my friend. Also, Madam on PlayStation. Be friends. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Gary Busey. Gary Buki. Alright, that's and... great. Look at my new picture. It's awesome. Oh, Gary, no, it's great. There you go. Terry smells Bruce is better August 16th. All right. Actually, you know, of course, the father will always be better than the son, so screw you. At least I'm the son of the greatest detective of all time. Surprise! Yeah, Attack that, on that Titan was, uh, Part 2 is just as bad as Part 1. It? Sorry, it's breaking news. So fuck you, McGinnis! Ooh, fight, fight. Screw you, Stone Cold. I should drop you on your neck again. <laughs> Man, you can see the sadness in my face right there. I see it already. Change your Skype picture? No. Oh. It just looks sad. It does look very sad. It looks like he's smirking a little bit. Huh? I'm not seeing that. Like, do it. Do it. What about this new Leatherface trilogy they've been talking about? Not, not digging that. Not. They talked about origin story of them being like in New York or like something like that, like a part two, a sequel to Chainsaw Massacre 2. Like, uh, like when Jason goes to New York? Jason takes Manhattan. Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. Gets drowned and turned into a it's, kid. It, I'm serious, it's fucking Leatherface 2016. That's an actual fucking thing. Are you, f really? You're not another joking? American horror film directed by Alexandro Bustillo and uh, Julian Murray and written by Seth M. Sherwood. It's the eighth film in the Texas Chainsaw, bleh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. It works as a prequel to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, to explain the origin of the series lead character, the film stars Tom Str yeah, it's Oh my god. Uh, events in the Jackson's teen years revealing how he became the infamous Leatherface. A violent teen nature Jackson escapes from a mental hospital and fellow inmates Bud, Coleman, Ike, and Clarice. The group cannots nurse Lizzie and their escape, and the group flees from their cat. <laughs> they are pursued by Hal Hartman. A vengeful and determinate Texas Ranger. What the fuck? Dear, can you please step in the oven? <laughs> Dude, Shout out to Kane Hodder. What a savage reference that was. Did uh, anyone see that movie, by the way? Yeah, I saw it. How was it? I, I heard it so. Right. It was alright. Wow, Kane Hodder's see it website again? looks shitty. Uh, tell email him say you'll do his website for him. Uh, <laughs> um, I kill you tonight. Uh oh. Oh my he god. A, he has a book. Does he? What the you fuck? Know what is, you know what his website's called? What? Kane Hutter kills. <laughs> he got a tattoo like on his lip. This is like kill or something. Uh, he has his. Uh, Welcome to the official fan club of Unmasked. It's fucking crazy. Let's join the fan club. No. We're, we're gonna own a fan club if you fucking have one. I'm gonna be the leader of a fucking fan club. I'm not fan gonna mail, sorry, but Kane can no longer accept fan mail directly. So we're gonna have to go and tell him, you fucking suck. And can you be our butler? 
<laughs> oh, so we had we our had, chance. We had the idea to hire Kane Hodder, who plays the Jason Voorhees and stuff, to be my butler at my house. Like for him to sit in the bathroom the with his gloved hands. Yeah, for him to sit in the shower for me, like sit in the bathroom with a towel, so when I wash my hands, he could dry my hands off for me. Okay, I thought he was just gonna choke you, like. Uh, <laughs> no, he'd be fired if he tried to choke me. You sure? I'm pretty sure I'd I mean, fire some him. Some people are into that, like auto no. asphyxiation. I'm I'd not. fire him. He I'd can fire. Teach I'd fire Kane. Big Kane Hotter. I don't want his hands around my neck. Let that be on the record. I mean, well, he's not as tall as imposing as he used to be, so. Really? Was there a time where he was tall and imposing? Yes, in the Jason movies. He, he seemed like he was eight feet tall. Yeah. Did he really seem like a short guy? Like well, if he just you know. walked up to the one dude, he was like up to the dude's chest? Did that ever happen? Maybe he's he wanted to be. Four. Maybe he was like walking around on his knees. His six foot four is tiny. <laughs> How tall is he? Like five he's nine? Six foot four. Oh, that's that's pretty big. Chris could take him. <laughs> he's a one inch taller. And here's a picture of Kane Hodder choking a lady with gloves on. Fuck yeah! I knew it. I oh, knew I think it. you sent that to me. So you'll be next. You'll be next. <laughs> Didn't you send that to me? Me? No. Yeah. No? Maybe. Fuck. I don't know. Do you have like a red shirt on? I don't know. I don't. Anyways, I got something from you, and I'm like, and I just had it on my computer screen for five minutes when I'm gone, and I came back like, nope, 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 you gotta turn that off. <laughs> Kane's super scary. Super spooky, Kane Hodder. I need to change the fucking picture again because Savage is here. To so what? Can you you say that like, you say Kane. that like that's a bad thing. Nah, nah. Well, hey, I'm still just a caller. Hi, hey, caller. Uh, you have a question for us? Um, yes. Um, what do you plan to do about the Joker's um, impending presidency run for United States in 2020? Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hire Oleg Teratov, former UFC champion, whatever, and former Predator actor. I'm going to hire Jason X to I'm take gonna this I'm going to hire Jason X to down. fucking choke you to death. Thanks. <laughs> Just tell me what 0.5 on, Robert, on Roger Ebert's um, review. What's uh? What's Jason X? How many how many Rotten Tomatoes percent is that? Uh, nineteen. Should be like one. <laughs> Got a nineteen percent. Pretty good. Pretty good. All so right. far, you have at least referenced Jason X at least every time. We have. Spoken. You know what? Uh, Jason X got a higher score than R.A.P.D. <laughs> good, because after that movie came out, no one heard anything from it ever since, but bad reviews. I tried to fall asleep in the theater when I went to see it. <laughs> Good. Who would not? I like cradled. Up. I like huddled up into the chair. You know, for that be... certain week that we discussed, Mark, we're gonna buy Pacific Rim. Oh, uh, you sure, man? <laughs> you should buy the rights to Pacific Rim. Yeah, we should buy the rights to Pacific fucking Rim. <sighs> what the fuck would we do with that movie? Make your own movie. <laughs> with what Make money? Your own movie with your money. Go Kickstarter, man. That's what everyone's doing now. Oh, yeah. We get to do a fucking Kickstarter. Why don't we do a Kickstarter for Team FI Arvel? What the hell is that? It's our own superhero company where we hate. Oh, man. This is great looking. Gypsy Danger fighting Knife Head in a very shitty looking ocean. <laughs> for the 360 grade. Oh, boy. So I guess we could do a video game trivia today if you guys wanted to. All right, sure. Why not? Get my redemption. By getting curb stomped the other day. All right, let me uh. Shout out to Edward Norton. Edward, you're a good man. Jason X's theme is "Bodies" from Drowning Pool. Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> is that really interesting? Is it? Yeah, he's an ECW um guy. Is who? Jason X must be an ECW guy. Jason X and ECW. That'd be strange. I don't think he'd win the main belt. Shane Douglas will just squash him. Cut the fucking music. Your fucking obscure ass wrestling fucking references are killing me. <laughs> I just got your fucking Shane Douglas reference. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Alright, I got a first question. 
Uh, Alright, Sony's yeah. PlayStation was originally planned as a CD-ROM for what? For the Two. Sega something. PC. Both wrong. Redeem yourself. I don't know. Xbox. No. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, Dreamcast. No. Both wrong. Redeem yourself. For the Nintendo 64. Close. None of them ever use dicks. They use giant ass. Um, from the GameCube. Hard no, you don't get a. Daryl Darrell Savage has two more choices. Go ahead, Daryl. Darrell. The Game Boy Color. No. I tap out. Rack, you get one more chance. I don't know. The Super Nintendo. Okay. All right. You cool, man? You cool? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I didn't know that. It's interesting. I knew that. How should I know that? You looked it up, you piece of poop. Well, I knew it beforehand. You got the answers. Sway. Anyways, next, uh... <laughs> I just get the thing of... Tingle from Zelda series looks suspiciously like series composer Koji Kondo. <laughs> Okay. Great trivia. Cody Rhodes. No. <laughs> Thank you for the fucking wrestling. Rack, he's a big fan of Stardust, so if you want to ask him about anything about Stardust, go ahead. He makes the vagina symbol with his hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> drop that. Never mind. Stardust is a no-go. <laughs> okay. Uh... To ask him. <laughs> oh, fucking you don't write this trivia shit down beforehand? I wasn't planning on doing it. I didn't oh, think okay. Savage was going to be joining. I do, right, it, yeah, right. I do it beforehand. You can play a one-sided game where you just Where's the craziest place back. you've had sex? In a under, restaurant. Under the bed. Under the bed. Under the bed. Hmm. That's... Nice. How does... Hmm. I don't like that. That seems pretty... Well, of course you would have never in. had it before. Alright. Touche. I bet it was 4 out of 10 experience. Netflix and chill under the bed. Fuck! Uh. Is that like Pennywise kind of thing? Yeah, pretty much. Pernie Georgie, Lee. come down right here. Yeah, you want a right bed, though. Georgie! You want a balloon, Georgie? Gary! I need your mattress! <laughs> I got I love you, locked pirate! In, JCPD locked in and played it yesterday. What'd you pl oh, you played the G GCPD thing? Yeah, I finished it in about 20 minutes. Really? Kind of yeah. What? Same with the Red Hood thing. How much How much was it? They're like, um, 199 Oh. Not very much. The GCPD lockdown was only fucking like $2? Yep. Hmm. It's only like a half hour worth of gameplay. Alright. Fuck like, they up. even, like, the dude, um, Commissioner Cash, whatever his name is, the dude with the hook hand, right when you finish, he's like, you want us to replace that symbol with your symbol? We could always use a new um, guy. And he's like, this isn't permanent. The end. Alright. Like, like, he doesn't care about replacing Batman or anything, just, um, just, you want to be new Batman? Or, No leaves. If I wanted a fucking like DLC, I'd kind of want to be occupied with it. I mean, if you really like the gameplay, they just played over and over again. That's what I do with the Red Hood DLC. Oh, uh, yeah. I really like Red Hood. I like the Jason Todd character. I don't oh, like gosh. him so much in this game because of, you know, he's not really voiced by Jensen Ackles, I believe his name is. Which I think was, a, he nailed Red Hood. Sorry, Troy Underneath Baker. Underneath the bed. I mean, but, um, yeah. Character's awesome. I just bought a shirt today, actually. God fucking damn it. Can I just get, like, a fucking thing? Fucking god damn it. Breathe into a paper bag. Don't worry. I can never find anything fucking online. I just fucking... Don't worry. There's lots of information to click of a finger, John. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah.
who was the catalyst of the Divas Revolution? Um, Andre the Giant. And the hundred beers he drank. Uh... What Those have to be like Bud Nips or something. Like those, that's impossible. That sounds impossible to drink like a hundred beers consecutively. He's a big guy. He's a big. You're a big guy. Or what's left of him is a big guy. Well, he's Ash now on ranch. He's he's the ranch powder that you use to make ranch dressing. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, here we go. Um. Fuck. Seems pretty sad that he died at someone else's funeral, his own dad's funeral. Sorry, hang on, I'm reading something. Talk, you two. I need to read something. Alright, what are you looking forward to, Marek, for this year game? Uh, Fallout 4. That coming out this year? I thought it will come out in the spring. No, it comes out like in November. Oh, okay. Awesome. You pre-order it yet? No, I did not. Oh, you know what? I don't pre-order games. Excited for Battlefront, any? Uh, I'll play the beta, no, and okay. then I'll see from there. Okay, uh, which of the following video games takes place in a dystopian underwater city called Rapture? Uh, Bioshock. Shot. Rick. Noise, noise. Uh, Aerial at sea. What video game system was released after the N64 and B before the Wii? Uh, the GameCube. Well, there's lots of them. Oh, wait, no, Nintendo. Okay, shit. Uh. So, the GameCube. Which popular video game features an X Special Forces Did operator? I get it right? Yeah, you, sorry, you got it right. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you just went. Uh... Yeah. Uh, features an X Special Forces operator named Jack Carver who's stranded in Micronesia. What the f Wait, what? Which popular video game features an ex special forces operator Far named? Cry. Damn, dude. That was the first one too, wasn't it? That we were talking about. Yeah, we were talking about before that. Yeah. Uh, which James Bond film was made into a game for the N64 console and later found for the Wii console? Goldeneye. I said it first. All right, I'm gonna be nice and give that to Savage. Sorry, Mac. Okay. Three to one right now. Uh. Uh, hmm. Sorry. Alright, the game Grand Theft Auto was released primarily for what gaming system? PC. Game Boy. Shit. PlayStation. Ooh. You fucking idiots. Mine started with a P. Alright, we'll That's take a little break here for a moment plus. while uh, I try to find more questions. Let's play. Breaking news, neck hair is off the charts. <laughs> For what? For growth, I don't know. Damn, uh, jail bot's going in. Breaking news, news is breaking. Breaking news, dying light coming out. <laughs> Do you remember what? that? When I asked you, like, many podcast, like, podcast topics, and you'd always say fucking dying light is coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Breaking news, Half-Life 3 confirmed. Oh! Dude, fucking classic. Half-Life 3! Wow. I'm so fucking stupid. I don't know why, I just, I'm de taking a little quiz. It says, who is the 11 sword wielding green cloth hero in the Legend of Zelda series? You know I just chose? Zelda? I just fucking chose Zelda. <laughs> you should have chose, um, Ganondorf. Oh, yeah. In what game series are golden rings used as life energy Sonic. and money? God damn. damn it. <laughs> Rolling. <laughs> You're too slow. My name hurt. <laughs> all I heard was gold. Gotta go fast. Five golden rings. That's all I thought of. <laughs> what part of an Xbox 360 causes the red ring of death? Uh, overheating? The button. Uh -huh. Oh. It's a uh, heat sink uh, slash graphics card. Okay. Stupid question, I guess. 
I don't know how I would have known that. Um, what is the first Xbox home man. console? Uh, the Atari, no. The Coleco? The PlayStation. Coleco, Coleco. Both wrong, get another try. t Commodore. Both wrong, get another try. Uh, that's like a, something that starts with, I don't Sega. know. So you both guessed uh, Sega and Atari, but those are wrong. I don't know. It uh, starts with an O, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you know what? Oh, uh, I looked at it a few days ago. It's like white. Let me tell you guys? Yeah. Odyssey. Yep. Damn it. <laughs> How many buttons were on the original NES controller, including uh, the D-pad? Three, five, four, six. Five. Final answer? There five. was a D-pad. Okay. Yeah, he's right. How much? Five. 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 Including the D-pad. Yeah. It's he's right. It's eight. I would have just used the D-pad as a full button. Okay. It says, it says eight here. Well, Alright, well, we're both wrong then. What is NES short for? Nintendo Entertainment System. Damn, dude. Savage, you are, uh. Falling a little bit behind. A little bit behind? Yeah, you're at one and Rack's at five. Oh, man. I'm so close. You're getting there. Okay. What is known? I, I actually I would say this would be like a final one for Savage to get, but this was more opinionated. This one would be for fun, I guess. What is what is known as the hardest game of all time? Battle Toads. Nope. I I can tell you the list here. It's uh Never Winter Nights, Contra, Ninja Gaiden, yeah, Assassin's that's... Creed, and Ghosts and Goblins. Yeah, that's kind of an opinionated thing. Yeah. So I wouldn't take that as a thing. Did well, I don't know about three of the ones that you named. I only know of Assassin's Creed and Ninja Guy, and so I wouldn't know the other ones. Uh, do you guys know anything about the the bo uh, the Legend of Dragoon? I'm assuming no. Nope. Sort of. I kind of remember that. It's, it's asking how many final forms does the boss have, whatever. Three. Wrong, faggot. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> and what series were Dracula and the Grim Reaper recurring villains? Castlevania? Fucking A, dude. Alright, Mac wins. <laughs> <laughs> fucking A. I wasn't even expecting anyone to fucking get that. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. We'll do a fucking comics one next year. Next one. Next year. Next one fucking Savage is on. We'll do a oh, comics yeah. one between the two of you, and that will be a real, real war going down. Castlevania is my favorite. Uh, one of my favorite game series. This one was more of like a classic kind of quiz going on. Was it? I guess, yeah. No, I can see kind of a vibe there. Yeah. But uh, next time I'll actually th come up with some like gaming questions and stuff like that. Rather, The majority of were like console questions. I'm not yeah, really... sorry about that. I'll, I'll think of some gaming ones. This one, I didn't even I mean, know. If it's like an was, anime like... comic book or whatever one. Why didn't you I... give me one that I knew? <laughs> Display me. <laughs> Dude, me I don't play any of those fucking thing. dumb games. Oh, you know what? Let's do anime trivia for the hell of it. Okay. I'm down. Gundam. Let's just, let's just do it right now. What about Gundam? What? Oh. Tiger Titan. Did I get it right? Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna search up anime trivia and questions, and you two are gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. This be fucking great. Savage, are you ready? Yes, I am. John? Yeah. All right, hold on. Uh, I'm trying to find. Whatever. Hold on. Just a second. Talk about something. Is it Daredevil? Oh, fuck. Foggy um, Nelson. Da -da 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 -da. Daredevil. What are your opinions on Foggy Nelson, Savage? I don't know what that is. You don't know who Foggy is? No. You don't know who Foggy Nelson is? What? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Alright, bye. Good night, guys. Go watch fucking Netflix. Whoa. Flex okay. Flex's Daredevil. Sorry. Oh, that sh have you seen the Daredevil series on Netflix? I only seen like four episodes of that blonde dude. It was so ugly that I just stopped watching. <laughs> that the, the blonde foggy. dude is Foggy Nelson, I know. But he is like <laughs> one of the ugliest dudes I've ever seen in all my life. So I just didn't stop watching. Savage Lane to smack down on Foggy. <laughs> Rock bottom through an announce table.
<laughs> Savage just buried Foggy Nelson. Are you fucking kidding me? It was bragging rights 2010. Bragging rights 2010. What? Hold on. Uh. Hold on. Hold on. So, uh, Savage, do you, uh, do you collect any, like, any posters? Right. I'm assuming you do. Yes, I do. Yeah? Why don't you name, uh, your posters three off? Poster you? and several Star Wars posters. Name, name some off. Alright, I have an Empire Strikes Back poster, an episode 6 through 1 poster, a WWE Superstars poster, a Darth Vader poster, a Randy Orton Legacy Never Dies poster back in 2009, a um, Star Wars A Clone Wars movie poster, The Age of Orton, and uh, a Superman poster from Earth 1, I believe. I'm not sure which one this is. But um, a Darth Vader poster that states... Your empire needs you. With a giant finger pointed at you, and that's pretty much it. I figured you have more Batman than Superman. Not at all. Hmm. I got a I got a subline poster. I got a Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare, Borderlands, Pulp Fiction, Destiny, Guardians of the Galaxy, Dexter, a CM Punk, a Batman, The Shield, Dead Rising Two, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Terminator. Uh, I got Chewy with like a surfboard. Hanging out on the beach. I got Daredevil comic book looking one. I have like a Russian, not Russian, I have a communist kind of poster, communist party. It's like welcome to the party. And you can see uh, Lenin and uh, Castro hanging out with some other communist leaders who just got dropped from the call. Nobody? Oh, it's lagging. Oh, Terry again instead. Hold on, we're trying to get the call back. Yeah, you fucking do that, Skype, you piece of fucking shit. You get Savage back in here right now, you motherfuckers. Yeah. Get him in here! Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck. Oh, my fucking ass. Oh, shit. Oh, Probably yeah. the longest podcast we've ever done. Oh, uh, fuck my fucking ass! Alright, I think we need to end this. End this? Alright. Savage? Yo. Yo. Do you have the anime thing up? Nope, I couldn't find anything. Really? Yeah. Well, I haven't. You guys could go at it. Do you? Okay. Do you guys anything like at the top of your head you can ask? Oh, well, Savage got one. Yeah, Savage can do it. In One Piece, what is the first person that Luffy has as a crewmate? I don't know. <laughs> a robot with one arm. His name is Zoro. Okay. That's close. All right, Death Note. What are the three main characters? Uh, uh, L, uh, Light. And some chick. Zoro. And um, Ryu. You're right about light, but he's in every single option. There's three. That's a hint. Three. Oh, so we have to name all three to get it right? Yes. Uh, who who was the th <laughs> who did that? Who was the person that was in all of them? Light. Light. Uh, I don't. He's the main character. He's I like guess a light. L. Sark the L and... guy. Yeah. And Ryuk, and the L fucking Ryuk thing? And Light and Ryuk and Light and L. Nope. Ryuk is not in those options. Fuck. Alright, let's go with Ryu. Right. No. <laughs> I don't Ryu fucking know. <laughs> I don't fucking know this. Jason X, Leatherface, and Chop Top. I don't know who. I don't know Got what is it. Right. It was Light. It was Light, L, and. Hold on. Shit, I just went back space. I pretty much got it right. That's it. It was like Ellen France. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Next question. Also, uh, the Rainbow Six beta uh, has been extended to Sunday. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I had to Go mention on. that. I haven't said that all podcast. I forgot to mention it. All right, Dead Man in Wonderland. What is the main character's stage name? Cocksucker Jones. <laughs> um, Mr. Ass. <laughs> Correct. Billy Gunn. John Mr. Cena. Okay. It was Mr. Gunn, Billy Ass. I mean, Mr. Ass, Billy Gunn. <laughs> Billy Ass, Mr. Gunn. All right. Next question. Right, enough of those. I'm done. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this podcast. It's over? Wow. Yeah, yeah we've been going for about two hours almost. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah, but um, I'll leave you here with John Cena's theme, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out all of our Twitter and our.